So today we're going to show you a couple of different ways that you can make marbled paper. Um, the first way that we're going to show you is with shaving cream and liquid watercolor. So the supplies you will need will be some shaving cream, um, some sort of tray that has a little bit of a lip. We're using like an old cafeteria tray here, but really any tray, again, like I said, that has some sort of little lip will do. Uh, you want some sort of liquid watercolors. These are actually from Dick Blick, um, but there's an earlier blog post that you may have noticed uh, where we show you how to make your own liquid watercolors with old markers. So maybe it's not in the supply budget to get liquid watercolors, or maybe you just have a lot of old markers <laughs> laying around and you'd like to do something with them. So that's a great way to make liquid watercolors. Check out that post. Uh, you'll also want a ruler. I prefer the plastic, something for messes, a rag, and then you're going to want some sort of paper that's um, got a little bit of weight to it. I'm just using um, cardstock today, but you can use watercolor paper, again, whatever you have, depending on the project and what you're going to do with it. So the first step is to actually get that shaving cream on your tray. And depending on your students, this may be something that you want to do, maybe have pre-prepped, or if they're old enough, uh, or maybe it's a smaller group and you can watch them, you can let them do it. Um, they always have a tendency to do a little bit more than necessary. I might have even done a little bit more than needed right there. But um, you need to cover, but it doesn't have to be um, absolute so you can have a little bit of that tray shining through so once you have your shaving cream you want to take your watercolor and depending on the um, uh, whatever it's in just test it to kind of see how it drips um, these are really great if you just kind of shake you don't need to squeeze um, and even here we're getting kind of a lot out you can also um, water this down to make it last a little bit longer and make the color a little lighter depending on what you want um, to do and you just want to again don't squeeze just kind of shake just need a little bit on there students have a tendency to want to really saturate it and make like shaving cream soup so that's something you want to um, head off in your demo and just make sure they know just just a little little shake little shake don't squeeze um, and then we'll just cover that this copper is really pretty that metallic is really shiny. All right, so once you have that, you want to take your paper and you are just going to press it very gently into your pile of shaving cream. And just make sure you get everything on there and then you're going to peel it off. And then if there's room, I always have my students move their tray or just set it up to where they've got room. You wanna lay that down and then basically we're gonna shave the paper <laughs> to get that excess shaving cream off. And you use your ruler and you just glide like that. And then I just put it right back on the tray. Now this is the first pass and a lot of times the first pass is, you know, the, the color is gonna be a little bit more sporadic. Um, with cardstock, and you can also just kind of wipe that off really easily. With cardstock, I will do a second pull, um, but I won't do more than that um, until it's dried just because you will already feel that the paper feels a little bit more delicate, so you just want to be careful. But I would like a little bit more color on here, so, and I think that's kind of a cool streak too, so I may just kind of set it right down there, press again, and again, tell your students to press gently. We don't need to submerge it into the shaving cream. And then we're gonna pull. And then again, because I didn't prep very well, we're gonna scoot that over there. And then shave our paper. And we've got a different um, look there. So this is two pulls. Um, I have another one that I did earlier that's also two pulls. It really just depends on where your watercolor <laughs> um, fell um, in the shaving cream. And again, I wouldn't do a third right now, but if you let it dry and you're like, mm, I still want a little bit more, you could. Again, depending on the class length time that you have and the time of the lesson. So pretty easy. You just need shaving cream, some liquid watercolor, some sort of tray, a ruler, and then some sort of paper. Again, cardstock works fine, but you can also use um, watercolor paper, anything that has a little bit of weight to it. So the second type of marbling I'm going to show you today um, involves a tub of water and chalk pastels. So you need a tub that will um, hold water, obviously, so like a tray won't work because the lip 
isn't high enough. You just need it to be large enough to fit whatever piece of paper you're working with. Um, and then you need pastels and something to basically shave the pastels with. Um, you can use scissors, or if you've got little ones, you can use a popsicle stick. So I already have some color in there. So I'm just gonna work to layer some more um, so you can see the process. I'm gonna grab this. I already used a lot of that pink. Let's throw some more of the green in. So if you want to use the popsicle stick, you just go like this. And as you can see, it is, it's getting on there, but it is smaller. Like it's just little kind of powdery shavings. Um, you really are gonna have better results with the scissors. But again, it really just depends on what age group you're working with and what you think they can handle. But see how much more you get with the scissors. Okay, so I think that looks pretty good. So again, you want some sort of paper. Um, I'm trying cardstock. Watercolor would probably be a little bit better because it's a heavier weight, but we're gonna see how this works. And you just lay that in like that very quickly and then pick it up. And you've got some pretty cool marbled paper. And you can even, so you go like this, it's already on there. Now, if I wanted to try to pick up a little bit more right there, just throw it back in and yeah, you can get a little bit more on there, okay? Now, in between, that looks really cool. In between, if you want a completely fresh slate, um, you can put another piece of paper on and just try to pick up the rest of that because as you see, it picks up a lot. Um, but I'm cool with color layering, so I'm just gonna, again, go right back to it, throw in some more of that green, and I'm gonna throw some more of that pink in. It's like a 90s dream, y'all, right? <laughs> Saved by the bell colors. Um, yeah, and you can just see how quickly it just works so much better. Just have to be careful, hold back here, use the blade you know, away from your finger, and they should be fine. Again, this is something, anytime you're using any kind of scissors, you wanna make sure you're supervising really well. Yeah, look at that blue. All right. I'm gonna press a little bit more this time just to see what happens. Oh yeah. Look, a little bit more color saturation. So, as long as you press once, don't keep it in there too long, you can do that and you've got really nice piece. And of course, you're gonna have to let this dry um, before you use it for anything. So now you've made all these really cool pieces of marbled paper. What do you do with them, right? Um, so I'm gonna show you a few things that, that we like to do with them. Number one, the simplest, is probably just fold it in half and make a really nice card. Um, you're, sometimes you're gonna have some, some interesting colors on the inside. That is your choice, whether to cover them up with like another piece of paper, you know, glue that in there and then fold it, or, or leave it as is. Uh, but Sharpies work really well over this and you can create really nice cards for whoever. Another thing that we like to do is to take several pieces of just copy paper and staple it along the middle and create a really cool sketchbook. And lately, we've been um, using a lot of these beautiful pieces of marble paper that we make, and we're like, what are we gonna do with them? We don't need 8,000 sketchbooks. Uh, we cut them up and use them for collage. So this is a really great uh, paper weaving project that Amanda recently did with some of our students at one of the A-plus art schools. And you can see we've got two really nice pieces of marble paper mixed in with the other paper, so it works really well. So that's just a few ideas of what you can do with this. Uh, word to the wise, this is from the um, chalk pastel, and it's still a little damp, so you definitely want to make sure that those go in the drying rack and that you have time for them to dry before you use them. As always, thanks so much for listening. If you have a question, go to the Ask an Educator link, ask us, and it may end up in a blog post. See you next time.